Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me Sahil Jagtiani where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene and in today's episode we're reviewing the GNL Tribute Legacy guitar but before that make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos Alright, we've got the legacy guitar from GNL, but it's somewhat different, isn't it? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you make it out? It's been modded. Um, there's a DiMarzio a Cruiser in the neck position and a Hot Rails SD Seymour Duncan a pickup over here in the bridge position and the rest of it stock. So he has. Uh, Go on and put a push pull pot also as well. Uh, split up the, uh, the humbuckers into single coils when they're in position one, two, three, no, three, four, and five. Okay, so you get nine tonal options. That's quite insane. Okay, so I'm going to put up the spec sheet, alter it a bit, obviously because it's modded. And uh, yeah, and from what I'm seeing right now. Um, Excellent guitar. So, have a look at the specs. Those were the specs of this guitar. What do you think? Are you getting gas? 56,700 rupees for the guitar in stock condition. 10,000 bucks more, I think, for the pickups, or maybe 13,000, I'm not sure. Um, add that in, so it's like almost 70,000 value, but you're never going to get that in you know, the second hand market. So maybe 35, 40, or 50, depending on what the condition of the guitar is. Luckily, the condition of this instrument is really good. Um, at first glance, it's Strat, uh, Leo Fender perfected it. Um, from what I have seen with this tremolo um, in some of the other GNLs I've played, it's a really, really stable trem. Um, that's a fantastic trem, the Wilkinson trem. And there was one more, yeah, the PRS. I love those two trems. And of course, the uh, Vega trem is also fantastic. But uh, this one's really good. It stays in tune, it's a floating trem like it very very stable good appointments on the guitar it looks amazing um, nice lacquered neck okay feels great um, unbranded tuner so I mean if you're really looking to uh, nitpick you can go with locking tuners compares really well with the Mexican um, I would say it holds its place against that the only difference is is the nut width is uh, seems to be a bit more than the uh, Fender, let me check. Okay. Panda, Panda, what are you, man? There you are. Yeah. Yeah. This nut width's a lot more. Okay. Um, I have no idea how much more, but it feels, you know, longer. The neck is very comfortable at the back. The shape is fantastic. It's just the nut width's a little bit more than usual. But nothing to nitpick about. I think it's fab. I think it sounds great also. Ashwin's going to now do the playthrough where we uh, go through all the positions um, and we're going to go straight into our Pliny plugin, the VST from Neural DSP, Clean Crunch and High Gain. Let's get to it.
for the sound of this guitar, what do you think? Is it worth the cash? Were the mods worth it? What do you think? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Would you go with the GNL? This beautiful headstock. It's like somebody took a bite out of the headstock. <laughs> uh, and not very nice. But other than that, I think the guitar is fantastic. It looks great. Um, feels great. Uh, it's very comfortable. I think Leo Fender perfected the trem design for sure with the, with the GNL guitars. Um, the pickups now. Uh, originally, I thought, man, why would he do that? Why would he change out the stock pickups? But, 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 these sound amazing. I was like, wow, they can handle gain really well. The neck pickup is loud, okay? It's really, really loud. I might have to lower it a bit because it's slightly mismatched with the, the bridge. And the bridge pickup was like, Oh man, full on, really, really good. Very impressed with these two pickups. So definitely an upgrade from what probably was, uh, you know, some weak single coils. I don't know. You know. I did ask the original owner if he had them. He said he lost them on the way. So I didn't want to say anything because, you know, uh, these pickups are fine and it's good enough for the review. Um, all in all, if you are looking for a Mexican priced Strat, and you're okay with the funky headstock and you're looking for a more stable trim, go with GNL. You'll be quite surprised. You'll be quite impressed by the quality of their products. Of course, change out the tuners. These are those unbranded uh, Chinese tuners, but um, where's it made? I think made in Indonesia. Yeah, made in Indonesia, but worth it. I mean, even the made in Indonesia uh, classic vibe, uh, you know, squires are really good. But these are obviously more premium than those. Um, yeah, I've got nothing bad to say about this product. I think it's really good. Again, the nut width is something that you're going to have to, you know, play and check out yourselves and see. Uh, are you okay with the uh, slightly longer nut width? Uh, if you are, I mean, then fine, just go with it. Uh, all in all, for me, very pleasurable experience. Probably going to keep this guitar for a bit longer, but you know, with me, you never move something out, get something in so that I can help, uh, you know, grow the channel and review uh, more and more guitars. Um, again, GNL have not sent this to me. I have got no affiliation with them for this video. This was bought by me and will probably be sold by me. Um, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to play it for a few months, see how it is. If I still am used to the nut width, I'm going to keep it because I do love these pickups. I think these pickups are phenomenal. Yeah. So yeah, looking forward to reviewing more GNL guitars. So. GNL Tribute Legacy, thumbs up.